Hi guys, in this video we're going to be vendoring our dependencies. So for vendoring we are going to be using this package GoVendor. I'll add the link to the description. So if you look at this project, it has given really nice documentation on how you can install it. So you do a go get and then this thing, copy paste it into your terminal. And then it's going to install all, all of the whole command line interface for it. Then it gives us commands like go vendor in it, which is going to create a vendor folder and functions like go mod add where we can add external dependencies and go more go vendor list where we can list external dependencies. So this is done. So if I go to VS code, I do a go vendor in it. Now you can see that there is a vendor folder created over here with nothing right now. If you take a look at our project, we have just one external dependency, which is this go SQL driver or the SQL driver for Golang. So we can simply do go vendor add, and then we can paste the link and then it's going to add the repository into our window list. So you will notice that we have one folder which has this go SQL driver external dependency added. So whenever now, now whenever the so go compiler compiles the code, it says, it looks at this, it says, okay, it's, this is an external dependency. I'm going to look in the vendor folder. It looks in the vendor folder and then it finds this go SQL driver. Then it says, okay, I found it. Now I don't need to go to the dollar go path. I have everything that I need to compile right over here. So it's simply going to do go install and then it's going to build our installation. So you can see that this exited without any errors because we have we have two things right now first we have a vendor and secondly we have we also have this in our dollar go path so let's see what happens when we push push this to the cloud and we're going to get started with the heroku cli in the next video so stay tuned 